<laughs> An ASIC miner? In my kitchen? It's more likely than you think. So this is the second miner I've gotten from Gold Shell. I have an SC box because I wanted to buy one of the mini miners um, some time ago. Uh, came in, uh, you know, less robust packaging than this one, but obviously it's much bigger. Looks like this is a, uh, <laughs> I don't even know, I think it's an 11P plug, um, likely a 20 amp, 11-20P, uh, I guess, I don't know, not something that I can use. Um, inside, of course, we have two clamshells and a anti-static bag that they ship it to you with. Uh, the miner itself is relatively heavy. It's about uh, six pounds overall. Or One thing that always drives me nuts about these videos is they never show you the actual labels. They just show you the machine. So those of you who are curious about the actual inputs and the labeling for the electrical information, as well as uh, some of the warning messages here, I'm going to put those up on screen as well. I hope you actually find this useful because I always do and I freaking hate it. So because the light series is supposed to be able to be mined on a regular plug, I'm going to use a C19 to 515P and plug it into a standard 120 volt. Yeah, on the left we can see that the handshake uh, at 120 15 amps uh, takes just under 1200 watts, which is exactly as advertised. And uh, Sia takes 679. Um, on the left, we can see Handshake gets to 56 decibels from 3 feet, uh, while Sia gets to about 47 and a half. Gold Shell has a pretty decent little local-based mining interface, and you can see here um, that on Sia, I do get 2900 gigahertz uh, as advertised has been around in about 16 hours one thing you'll notice is my hash boards are quite different one gets a lot more hardware errors than the other but seems to hash a little bit better it also hashes a little cooler uh, kind of a strange thing there but uh, as we all know no two hash boards are the same of course gold shells minor settings channel allows you to change the algorithm if you're mining with a unit that can handle multiple algorithms as noted, of course, this one handles both Sia coin on Blake 2B and HNS on Blake 2B SHA 3. When mining HNS, um, I'm sitting an average over a couple hours of about 1366, which is actually pretty great. Uh, you can see that my fan speeds are much higher and my average temperature is way, way higher. Um, HNS seems to have a lower hardware error percentage on the whole. Uh, but again, we see that the hashboard 2 gets more errors and of course hash is a little bit higher. Of course, it is sucking down 500 more watts, so high temps are expected. So let's not mince words. This is a 3300 USD machine. Um, ASICs just aren't cheap at the end of the day, even mid-tier ones. So HNS earns about 30 HNS per day, which is about 471 USD per day before electricity, of course. Uh, SIA earns about 450 SIA coin per day, which is about 416 USD per day before electricity. So a little bit less. Uh, after electric, however, 1200 watts for the HNS brings it down to about 310 USD for profit, while SIA coin sets at about 322 um, because it only uses 700 watts. So the break even for both comes in just under three years. That is a pretty massive break even for a GPU miner, I'll tell you. At the end of the day, the question is always going to be is it worth it when it comes to ASICs? As a former GPU miner, it's a fairly long break even, even compared to what you could potentially get if Ethereum's even mineable for the next 12 months. Most GPUs are gonna break even in that window. This is almost three years. Now, with an ASIC or with any GPU-based coin, um, I mean, anyone who's mined prior to last year knows that a lot of the time you aren't looking at full break-even windows, you're just kind of speculation mining, hoping that that coin gets better. Now, we don't know what's going to happen to 
either see a coin or handshake over the next three years, effectively. <laughs> um, but we do know that historically, over the last 12 months, both coins have been about twice as high as they are now. We're looking at a pretty uh, lengthy low for both tokens in the recent past. Now, are they going to get better to that point where they're going to break even much quicker, or are they going to get worse? Is there a future for either token? Those are questions I'll leave up to the viewer because I can't answer them. I can't predict the future. Anytime you buy an ASIC, you are committing to the potential future for those coins. So you're either looking at a three year break even window or you're hoping one or both does better. And if you're hoping for one, you gotta pick one. It's nice to have the option, but you gotta look at what the potentials are. There's a lot more power usage to mine Handshake, but see, uh, well, the network itself is seeing less usage. There's getting to be a lot more competition in the, you know, blockchain storage space. Um, you know, we've seen like things like Filecoin or uh, storage or things like that. And those are, you know, competing directly with Sia. In either case, I hope this helps you make an informed decision. If you like this content, please like and subscribe to this channel. Have a good one.